there. This is Isix with another episode of Stellaris, where we are the Union. Where we are all unionized and being all sciencey and such with our, our directorate stuff. Emergency election. I don't think so. And could change our government. We're not going to do that. Uh, <laughs> prismatic lens. Neat. Flagella movement. Awesome. Naval capacity maximized and we now have access to this spiral arm of the galaxy and we're gonna see if we can make good use of it now we have kind of run up against some people that are on the uh, far side of these dudes these dudes who kind of like me they're all like hey what's up we got these dudes who are like yeah they're, they're all right <laughs> And then you got our uh, little vassal state down here, who are a little, little upset with our uh, behaviors. That's okay. That's okay. You got these guys up here. They're like, eh, they're all right. <laughs> no one wants to join a alliance with me, of course. But you know, there are other things that sort of factor into that sort of stuff. Hmm, I feel like I can get over here. Uh, <laughs> but we got some cool stuff going on here. Why are we not working on this here? Trade post available. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we really haven't done much of the precursors yet, but uh, where are our dudes? Okay, they're there. They're investigating various things in various places. I want to come up here and. Uh... Oh, yeah, we can't fight some of these guys because they're Bissell hosts and things like that, and so they're a little too too much for us here. Yeah. Hmm. We had some uh, possibilities of uh, colonization here, like uh, this little planet down here. This little planet of mine. Eleven spaces. That's pretty sweet. Pretty sweet indeed. And there's another one right here too, right? Uh, yes, a, a Gaia world. Right amongst these here. Another another moon situation of eleven folks. I think I'll definitely be going with this uh, top one first. Just to seal off all this from uh, <laughs> potential, potential land grabbers. Hmm. Grab me. Get that one, and maybe another one over this way somewhere. Possibly sealed off over here as well. Hmm. <laughs> Tempted to maybe, uh, I don't think we have uh, Tundra colonization yet, but uh, if we got it, we could take on this, but. Hmm. Excuse me. Seal it all up entirely. Hmm. I record and I just start burping. Ugh. Alright, so, back to the game. Our fleets were doing their fleet thing, sort of exploring a little bit, seeing what was up, and that's okay. These guys are uh, looking to turn around and go down over here this way to Alfard, which I believe is a uh, name of a real star somewhere. You got a star somewhere. <laughs> hmm. What's this? What's this? Fleet orders furnished? Well, that's fine. Uh, we do need to take care of these guys at some point. Uh, Mineral extraction operations. Should probably also get our construction ship uh, working on more technological advancements. Hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, that's still in the, still inside that territory. Yeah, about time. Let's go uh, build a research station over yonder. Let's go check our plants real quick to see what uh, is any uh, surprise upgrades we can sort of work on. I guess we could upgrade this. Do they have a food problem? going to. Yeah, so we're going to upgrade these uh, hydroponic farm type places. We can also clear out this since we'll be uh, possibly needing the space soon. Do we want to clear out any of these? I'd say yes. Let's go ahead and smack that around. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. 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 I believe we're also uh, talking to our little alien friends, or at least trying to figure them out. I suspect these two uh, species are in an alliance of some sort. Maybe I could be convinced to join their alliance. Yes. Debris Three. analyzed. What's this here? Ooh, nuclear, mis nuclear missiles! Cool. Uh, <laughs> gonna be uh, coming back around the mountain when she comes, apparently. Hmm. Who are these guys? Who are... What do they want? Oh yeah, they're uh, a divert cargo uh, hierarchy. A hostile feet pre pleasant. Oh no! Oh, we already know about these guys. That's fine. <laughs> Tropical world. Terrible. Terrible indeed. 
reminds me. If I'm going to be colonizing anything, I should probably build a colony ship. Uh, there we go. Uh, yes, so we're going to go with the one with the uh, ideologies most matching ours. Now, apparently the game has a uh, bug currently that ideologies of, the, of your populace tend towards zero, so they eventually stop caring about anything. Which, you know, just, you know, general nihilism is fine, but <laughs> means they lose sort of all their uh, benef uh, costs and benefits out of the situation here. Alright, uh, do got this guy, he's pretty close here. But they're probably not going to end up in a fight, that's cool. Hmm. Oh. Our guys do need to be given more orders. Yeah, I got a drink with ice in it. Sue me! <laughs> uh, we're going to go this way, this way, then over here. And up there, and down to so yonder, and just sort of keep exploring our way around. And we're going to go look at the other stuff real quick. Just a moment. Should we make some selections here. Cool. <laughs> we'll be able to take command of perhaps two arms of the galaxy. Now, I'm not sure why I can see these guys. I haven't got a message from them. Who are these folks? I don't know. Rith Ritharian Cartel? What? Federation Builders. Oh, these guys seem pretty cool. Uh, maybe I should establish embassies with them. Hmm. It's uh, some sort of uh, rivalry, eh? Some sort of hegemony. Some sort of superior technology and capacity. These guys seem like some sort of badasses. I want to be their friend. Um, who am I talking to right now? Who are you talking to? Uh, Alright, uh, distance. There we go. <laughs> Easiest way, uh, so it's in Kavak's consolidated regions. Marian hegemony. Hmm. Well, I guess, uh, I'm going to be, um, pissing somebody off. Might as well these, these guys, because, uh, once again, our ideology is, well, that, and theirs is, well, two out of three being complete opposites is probably not a good thing. So we're going to uh, recall our embassy, and we're going to send it off to these guys instead. We're going to establish an embassy. Because they're all, like, peaceful and xeno uh, file -y, which means they're, uh, they're pretty cool with us, potentially. Because uh, if we get a, a good attitude with them, well, they will uh, have something going on. Now, they don't want to take a non-aggression pack uh, research agreement. Probably not, because they're better tech than us. Uh, migration access? Nah. They're, quote, 95% willing to uh, trade with us, but that doesn't really mean much. Uh, I guess we could offer them our star charts and an aggression pack. Uh, they don't really actually care about that at all. Uh, guarantee of independence. No, that's not going to work. Migration access. They actually do kind of like uh, research agreement. Nah, they're not really actually interested in teaming up with us at all. But that's okay. They'll maybe warm up to us eventually. Hmm, very strange. Um, space amiibles. <laughs> amiibles. Construction complete. What's this? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Construction queue. Neat. Uh, anything else we want to build here? Oh yeah, we can uh, build all sorts of things. We can increase our power plant. Increase our mineralness. Uh, we can check our food stores and realize. Oh, we can definitely increase that. Nice. Nice indeed. And we should probably be building something over here as well. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Power hub would be nice. But we need more minerals. Need more minerals. The, the power hub gives you a 10% bonus to all your uh, energy producing System buildings. So if you have complete. several of them, like you do on, like we do on this planet here, uh, we'll be in a uh, good shape to uh, do some stuff. Now we got our uh, scientist, uh, Kotharx. Has been uh, leveling up to level, sk level skill two. System is sur surveyed. Neato. Not a terribly useful system, but there is a continental world that we might end up uh, terraforming the crap out of someday. Um, yes. Means gonna, this guy's gonna go check out that stuff. Then, hmm, we're gonna go get that surveyed. That should be pretty neat. So, you down here are probably going to. Uh, Send you to survey down that way. And then we're going to figure out uh, how to get by the dubious abyss. Because <laughs> we could just turn this off, but we do need to be careful. So we don't run into something terrible. 
Hostile fleet presence. Oh no. Another void cloud. <laughs> we could take it, but eh. Have, uh, leaving these guys uh, around is actually going to uh, discourage other empires from uh, wanting to move into these territories very quickly, which is probably a good thing, because we're not in any uh, uh, position to try to exploit any of this sort of territory. Hmm. Yes. Yes, territory of doom and destruction. Hmm. So, Arctic world, autosave, desert world, tender world, Desert world, tropical desert, tropical tundra. I would like to have that plant. All right, uh, ancient mining drones. What? All right, so our uh, construction ship is now completed. Our construction is now done. There we go. Uh, we're gonna go tell it to go build a research station over here. Parga, Parga, Parga. Are you ready to uh, build our power hub? Very nice. Now it's gonna take 25 influence, but we got plenty of that right now. So let's go ahead and we can also do a mineral processing plant, but yeah, I think we're going to go with this route. All right, um, we're also going to go over here. Maybe we'll uh, build the processing plant up here. So that will uh, increase our minerals by 10% for the entire world. And our minerals here is plus 18. Hmm. We'd prefer to get more energy out of the situation, but yeah, sometimes you can't help. Sometimes you just feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you feel like a existential crisis lost in time and space. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> uh, let's start hierarchy. How can I integrate you? Uh, December. Okay, so pretty much till the end of the year. We have to wait. Dito. Hmm. Uh, see, I went out to lunch with a friend. Uh, got uh, some sort of other arm uh, admirer down here. So it's like we all clustered up together. It gets the sort of uh, courage, quick consolidation of territory, potentially. Uh, at the same time, it does sort of mean that uh, your expansion options, uh, as far as non-military adventures, is a little limited. But, you know, you know, uh, some sort of crystalline entities. Yeah, there really is a down here. Counter, Counter and Porima. Hmm, you got something. Pie aliens. Hmm. Proceed with caution. They apparently... What are these guys doing here? They seem to be some sort of alien investigation ship here. We got some sort of... I don't know, uh... Ships scouting away. And this guy's running away here. We need the Zaffa system. Frank Zaffa system? What? Where, where is the Zaffa system? I don't... I'm a little confused here. Wind is eight plus eight quarters. Oh, he's, he's going somewhere. Just not entirely clear where it is. He's, he's hyping away. <laughs> Apparently, we are coming into contact with some aliens. Hmm. Uh, Arctic world? Ooh, we got a, a planet we can colonize here, potentially. Uh, <laughs> so we can get down here and uh, search it enough time. So I suspect there's probably an empire somewhere around here. You have to worry about yeah about that but we got some options now we got some good options assuming our science ships can get their butts together get some of their processing done some of the specialty projects out of the way mm, debris um what was this here parga mm -hmm. complete this it's, it's building queue accident so uh this here we're going to build ourselves a mineral processing plant we give us this Plus two uh, minerals, plus 10% minerals on everything we got already, which will be, uh, go a long way to allowing us to, to build more stuff. We can also build things like uh, Paradise Stone, but we don't really need that on our home world. So let's not bother. Let's go with the processing plant instead. Hmm. Yeah, so it'll uh, remove the one uh, food here, but that's fine. We've got other means to create food, and we don't really need several lots of food on this planet anymore, so yeah. Hmm. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> Good here. Do we need any more food? We might soon. We're uh, growing up here, but we're already getting that running. Growing up here. Tempted. Just start building random buildings everywhere. But no, I must hold off. System I must survey not complete. fall into the trap. System survey complete. 
Hmm. Yeah, it's not a not a terrible place. You got a molten world. You got to ourselves a barren world. Now, I, I do kind of wish you could uh, do Special things like project uh, complete. Hmm, archaeological project complete. Uh, archaeologist on the Drillion uh, six or seven A. Now salvage a small Voltaium digital pamphlet. Seems the visionaries of these uh, outposts pass uh, pamphlets like this out to visiting merchants. Most of the data is corrupt, but uh, there are several references uh, to the great lie and the shackles of virtual reality. So, either they were railing against Facebook, or Spacebook, <laughs> you know, the space equivalent of, or alternatively they thought that everyone was living in the Matrix, man. Interesting find. Yeah, getting some engineering research. Hooray! <laughs> Neato! Now we are going to have to try to sneak by some of these guys over here. See how things run. What do we got here? Nemesis established? Uh, Alright, uh, so these guys here. He said, uh, where are these guys? Jobinids. So, uh, these guys here. We aim to establish an embassy on. Uh, Jaban for the future betterment of the Jaban uh, um, uh, Jabana uh, Unionist diplomacy. Let's say that t twelve times fast. Cool. So they want to be our friend. Perhaps they know that we're kind of badasses, or, or at least equivalent badasses. <laughs> though, to be honest, though, I do need to be kind of careful. I think after we get the uh, colony ship together, since we're not going to be able to colonize anything right away. I'm going to go ahead and uh, upgrade my station, just to be a little bit more powerful. Yeah. And uh, speaking of, we uh, might, well, I got some good tech coming out of there. Um, synchronized defense might be useful. Definitely uh, some sort of space yards. A yard and Harvard yard. Construction. Alright, now where do we want to send this guy now? Could maybe get him just up in this general vicinity, or we could uh, sign him up to get more culture research here. Yeah, build research station. Now, will we find any primitives yet? We have. Where are these guys? These space birds with their space helmets and their space adventures. We could go talk to them. Yes, we could go talk to them afterwards. Got to build an observation post. Neat. <laughs> All right, moving forward. Uh, what was these guys' deal again? Were they uh, some sort of surface-dwelling Stone Age primitives, right? Bronze Age, okay. <laughs> so we potentially uh, start uh, enlightening them, perhaps. It'll take a while, but uh, we could have some friends. But do we want them as friends? What kind of people are they? Xenophiles, pacifists, and spiritualists. So we're not going to see fully eye-to-eye, -eye, but they'll at least probably like us. Anomaly found. Ooh, an anomaly. This thing is uh, scarring the surface of the world in a pattern that cannot be natural. From oh, it, massive rifts look almost like writing. Oh, yeah, we'll research that. Uh, do do do. Said research. There we go. <laughs> Moving forward. Hmm. So we're probably not going to be uh, going to a fight for a little bit. But we do maybe want to start integrating these guys. Just so that we uh, have somebody to push around inside our empire. Mm hmm. Excellent. So we got ourselves a colony ship. Um, so, let's go look around at our colonization potentials. We're going to go ahead and just sort of send it over here. So we'll be at least somewhere nearby. Arid world, ocean world, desert world. Yes. We're going to see about uh, maybe sending this guy. So he's currently on Vasive Fleet Stand, so if he runs into a system where there's bad guys, he's going to fly away. But I think I want to make him passive, so he'll try to, uh, uh you know, uh, move toward hostile targets, but we'll enter combat if the hostile targets move close enough. And we're going to see about uh, getting ourselves down to the Gaia world down here. Now, they could run into trouble because there are very systems along here that we haven't actually visited yet. But, you know, we're going to have to look at them sometime, right? He's like, oh no, I'm running away! They're coming to take me away! Haha, <laughs> they're coming to take me away! But, uh, maybe setting up a uh, outpost out here could be useful to our uh, resource collection and 
possibly uh, terraforming. Someone used a mining laser from orbit approximately 5,000 years ago to garb a large body of writing on the surface of Hawaz 1A. The massive script covers a large part of the moon's upper atmosphere and appears to be a short story chronically the difficult life of an alien mercenary. Fascinating. Let's study this ancient mercenary adventure writing people. Yes! How's we, how are we coming here on this, this system here? Shouldn't be too much longer, I suspect. Given that there's only a few bodies in the system. Hmm. All the heavenly bodies. <laughs> uh, the void cloud situation here is probably going to be uh, causing them to bounce around a little bit. Alright, so we've uh, potentially got some uh, pie aliens to go talk to. Do I want to do that yet? Not sure. Hmm. I'm very tempted to uh, set up some strategic points of interest here. Just to keep people out of this bit of space. Let's see about uh, going off this way. And if they contact us, we'll be cool, I think. We'll be super cool. Yeah. Let's go for it. We're going to wander around their space. It's going to be cool. We're not going to do anything too weird, hopefully. Oh yeah, construction complete. Parga. Parga, Parga. Alright, uh, do we want to make this into a uh, productive territory here? Because we are kind of needing that uh, one food bit just to, uh, to encourage growth, to, to maintain our current population. And what do we got here? Space amiibos. Amiibos. Accepted space. Hmm. Talk with him. Talk to world, System survey world, complete. World. I would like to grab that if I could. Probably not going to happen, though, unless they build a uh, outpost here and extends far enough to uh, to do some stuff on the other side here. Uh, tra transmission from some people. All right, we got several things going on here. So we are suddenly inside some sort of space empire. It looks like our uh, possible ability to uh, seal them in uh, down here is probably not going to happen. So the transmission from the Nizira, we are receiving transmission from Nizira. They appear to have successfully translated our language. Diplomatic channels are now open, and all hostility between us have uh, ceased for the moment. Neat. Ah, I present the independent Zeran Confederacy. Our elected leader, Consul Felwaxod, would have you know that we are more than capable of defending our way of life. Do not interfere on in our affairs, alien. Hmm, you must throw away your old ways, Zirins. Yeah. I have a lot of experience fighting confederacies. <laughs> so, uh, so we got some things going on here. So, uh, we got hostile fleets present, apparently. Uh, and, uh, oh, it's, it's over here, because this guy's traveling through. Uh, we got, uh, system surveyed, Howerowitz. All right, cool. We have no access. We are forced to return from blank from, uh, to return to blank from Yol. Because it's within the borders of the Zering Confederacy, and as such, we now have ships that are missing in action. They're not going to come back until uh, se uh, September there of this next year. Whoops! <laughs> Guess they got to go travel all the way back to our home system, maybe. So basically, this is a, a means for which to oh, we don't know what to do with your ships because they just can't be there. They're going to just go away for a little while, so my fleet is effectively missing in action. Hopefully, no one attacks me in the meantime. <laughs> Because otherwise, that might suck. Yeah. Anyway, so we got our uh, exploration complete. guy dudes coming through here. We got his price points mm -hmm. to construction. Neato. And we could maybe do a Corvette assembly yard. I think I'm going to take it just in case we need to build a bunch of new ships suddenly. Yeah. <laughs> Star Hunters. Hmm. Delightful. Get more uh, bad guys on the horizon, a void cloud of some sort. And, oh no, our Xeno uh, uh, scientist Zobligius has died at the age of 75. Hmm, no, no. That means we got no one running our Manifest Destiny program. Huh. Unacceptable. So we're going to use some of our influence to recruit a new leader. Yeah. Oh, there's all uh, sort of dudes here, new worlds. Uh, so this is going to be for our society, so uh, any one of these is probably going to be good. 
Uh, let's go... Military theory. Hmm. Let's go for the, the New World stuff. Because we want, want to expand our capabilities in that domain. So we can grab, do a massive land grab here. We're going to go with like that guy. He's now in, in charge of this here. Start statecraft. It's like Minecraft, but different. Uh, <laughs> space torpedoes. That's what we're researching down there. So this guy's he's dead. But, uh, we got... Uh, so this will also give us a, a, a sense of what's going on in this part of the world as well. Our universe. Hey, it's Gidi. I wonder if there's Gidi Prime System here. survey complete. Mm. Uh, this has been fully surveyed. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Where's our spaceship guy dude up? Oh, there he is. Let's go exploring. Let's survey this system. And then we can follow this on down this way if need be. Hooray! <laughs> it might be worth it uh, just to put a uh, space station up here. Now, we are to the point where we can start uh, integrating these guys here. Uh, so let's go ahead and start that off. These xenophobic isolationists are crazy people. Let's see if we can fix that. Yeah, so uh, across total 300 influence, we'll rate of 3 influences per month. So it takes 100 a month, I guess? Sure, let's go for it. So now we are reducing our, our, our influence here, so it's uh, something maybe watch out for. Some trouble ahead. Bradley uh, declared Ruthenian cartels their rivals. Hmm. Oh, uh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. We're going to uh, rival these guys. Maybe they'll be, uh, folks will be interested to uh, get involved here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. I might want to make an alliance with these guys. They seem pretty cool. They're all like, we love you, and we're peaceful. Neat. Alright, so we've built another little research station there. That's very good, very good. Yes. Tropical worlds, tundra worlds, arid worlds, but very little arctic worlds, which is unfortunate. What we got here? Uh, called the Embassy. Uh, Terminator ambassadorial program for the time being. Okay, that's fine. As uh, declared, uh, <laughs> so uh, basically these guys are uh, getting a little angsty at each other. Maybe it's uh, coming to a head. Maybe they're uh, very, very eager to maybe uh, bash some heads together. Now, of course, they're not really next to each other, so there's no real good way for them to uh, to do that here. Uh, space amoebas. Oh no. The amoebas. <laughs> oh, we got another Gaia world. Sweet. Hmm. We're gonna be uh, full of new planets here. So, do we already know this about this one? That Gaia world, that Gaia world, and that Gaia world. So, yeah, we got Gaia worlds up the wazoo here. Uh, of course, we have to go deal with this guy first, but, uh, you know, yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe all our guys will just end on Gaia Worlds. Now, we do have technological uh, research to sort of go about. We have completed all work on space torpedoes. Neat. And we got some uh, some options here. Now, we could work on the armor, which would be pretty good. But I'm very tempted to go after these. Especially since our, uh, due to our uh, our ethics, we are we tend to be very uh, pacifist. So we don't not get... Uh, Weapons uh, options vary as often. So let's go ahead and uh, work on the new levels torpedoes. This also means that we can go look at our spaceships. Be all like, hey, we got uh, our mass drivers and our lasers here. So 1.8, 1.96. And these space torpedoes are so much better, it's almost kind of silly not to change something in here. So uh, we're going to uh, place our mass drivers with the uh, space torpedoes. And now we have two little energies. We're gonna go ahead and upgrade that. Don't have any armor yet, but that's fine. We're gonna go ahead and save this design. Very cool. Um, yeah, yeah. Neat. All right, so uh, we got that going on here. Hmm. Maybe we'll go ahead and uh, build one of these little badasses, and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the mini Izzy once again. Hooray! <laughs> Oof. Alright, so, uh, I want to go visit that at some point. We definitely want to create our great seal, which requires us to be uh, surveyed over here properly. Uh, this also means that uh, if we turn off our evasion here, we can go ahead and uh, 
get set up to uh, maybe start colonizing here. Yes, because uh, Gaia worlds give you 100% time ability. So basically, it's like being on your home world, no matter what species you complete. are, which is pretty sweet. Uh, you guys can please start construction queue. Neat. Is there anything uh, we want to build here right now? Ooh, we can upgrade. Upgrade. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. Hmm. We, are, we are, are getting plenty of food right now. Hmm. But we need more science. Let's go and get a build a science lab. Go there. Do the thing. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Oh yeah, we got a. We're moving the uh, a little uh, colonization ship here, so that they're running and jumping past the uh, void clouds and other nasty things. Yes. Giddy. Giggity. <laughs> Follow me, uh. Hmm. The Falmiol Legend. Legends of the Hidden Falmiol. So yeah, we're gonna see how quickly we can jump down here. I might opt just build System a uh, survey complete. station somewhere along here. Desert world. Possibly... Possibly here? Just to uh, make it so that we can have a claim on this here. Um, hmm. Of course we need to uh, send a science ship down here. So we're going to turn off evasion. We are going to survey up this his house here, and we're going to see maybe about either uh, getting a colony ship over there. Let's go ahead and build one right now. Uh, and then, uh, and then perhaps uh, do some cool stuff. Yeah, by sealing it up. In that case, we'll uh, build ourselves a. A, uh, uh, an outpost along here, perhaps like right there, just to cover all this stuff. And all of this will be effectively ours. We'll be able to colonize and subjugate it easily in time. Neat. Means we do have to do uh, some maneuverings to get things running here, but yeah, I'd say that's good. Okay, good. <laughs> it's like, you haven't surveyed the planet yet, haven't you? You fools! Survey it! Survey it! I need a new colony! Awesome. I hear everything is awesome. Everything's great when you're part of a team. Let's colonize! You there! Go! Oh, it's gonna be... You're gonna cause me trouble, aren't they? <sighs> yeah. They are. I want to lose two engineering or two society. Society stuff we're pretty good on at the moment, so I think we're gonna go with this, and we'll be able to unlock these later. So we're gonna go put the, the colonization spot there, and the colony shall begin. And our construction ship is complete. I think we're gonna leave it there. Uh, I'll figure out what to do with the construction ship between episodes, perhaps. Hopefully, I remember. Um, but, 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 I'd like to thank you all for joining me. This has been Izix playing some more Stellaris. And until next time, everybody, toodles. Woohoo!